Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinkorswim tutorial series. Today's video should be a short one. All we're going to do is go over how you guys can set up order defaults within the Thinkorswim platform. Now, an order default is simply the order that automatically comes up when you go to place a trade. For example, looking over here on my trade page, if we wanted to place a trade on Micron, I would come over here to the current asking price and just go ahead and click on that number. As soon as I click on that, you're going to see an order ticket comes up here, and you can see my default order quantity is to buy 10 shares of stock at a time. You can see over here my default order type is also a limit order, which means I need to specify a price. Now, you guys can set order defaults for any type of product. So, for example, if I were to delete this out of here and instead say I wanted to buy the $77 call on Micron and I were to click on the asking price here, you can see the default order quantity for options contracts is one contract at a time, and it's again a limit order that I'm specifying. If I were to flip this over to a future symbol, like let's say we came up here and threw in forward slash ES, I again build out an order ticket by clicking on the asking price here. You can see in the case of a futures contract, it's one contract at a time, and again, a limit order. But we're gonna go over how you guys can adjust that. Now, in order to actually access the settings menu, we will need to come up here to the top right-hand corner and click on the setup button. From there, you're just gonna look in this drop-down menu and find and click on the application settings menu. Now, this menu that pops up is where you guys are gonna be able to access most of the platform settings within Thinkorswim. This is where we could adjust things like the color scheme of the platform, adjust our notification settings, and in our case today, adjust our order defaults. Now, in order to actually access the order defaults, we're obviously going to come up here to the order defaults tab and go ahead and click on that. From there, you can see all of the products that we could adjust over here on the left, and at the moment, you can see I've got the stocks tab selected. So over here on the right, you can see the default order type for stock is going to be a limit order, but we could, of course, go ahead and click on that and change it to any type of order that we want to use. Now, in my case, I typically do use limit orders even when I'm buying stocks, so I'm going to leave it as a limit order. But let's say for me, I typically trade 100 shares at a time, not 10 shares. So what I'm going to do is actually highlight this number here and type in 100. Now, the next box down where it says order quantity increment, this is what changes every time you hit the plus or minus button. So for example, if I were to actually hit apply settings down here, and let's build out an order ticket on a stock. So let me change this over back to, let's say, Micron here. If I were to come over here and build out an order ticket, you can now see my new order ticket down here is now to buy 100 shares of stock instead of 10 shares. And now anytime I hit the plus or minus button, it only changes it by one share at a time. So that's the order increment. Now, if we wanted to change that as well, we could always come back up here to the setup menu, go to application settings, come on back over to order defaults. And let's say every time I hit the plus or minus button, I wanted it to change by 10 shares at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this number one here and type in 10. But moving on from stock for a second, let's next go over to the option side of things. And now you can see my default quantity of orders is one contract at a time. And then every time I hit the plus or minus button, it's changing it by one contract at a time. So just for the practice of it, let's say we wanted to change this from one contract to two contracts. And I'm gonna actually leave the order quantity increment as one. And what we're gonna do is actually come down here and hit apply settings. So now that I've changed that, if I go ahead and delete this out of here and I were to build out an option trade on Micron, let's again do the $77 call. So I'm gonna click on the asking price, $2.12. From there, you can see it builds out an order ticket to automatically buy me two contracts. And again, I'm using a limit order by default. Now, if I were to come over here to the plus or minus button and hit the plus sign, it is gonna change it by one contract at a time. But this is where you guys can really tweak the settings for the platform. But that is just about everything you guys need to know to set order defaults yourself on the Thinkorswim platform. If you guys were wanting to learn more about the platform, be sure to check out my other tutorial videos on here. I've covered just about everything you guys could possibly want to know about Thinkorswim. If I have missed anything or you guys have any additional questions for me, please leave them down below. But we'll wrap it up here. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.